hope everyone's having a great day today. Today I am here with, I've been kind of doing this like, I started doing kind of like a shop mustache kind of thing, like I started looking through stuff I have because I have so much stuff. I feel like there's so much I can share. Even some of it that's older, but I mean still maybe you don't have it and it's just something you've never seen. So I don't know. I've just kind of been doing like this, go through my stuff. What do I have? What can I talk to you about that I've always loved or do love? Or maybe it's new. Just, I don't know, just kind of shopping my stash, I guess. And so I decided I would do kind of like a top five um, series type thing of some of my top five out of stuff that I already own. Um, like uh, like today I'm doing um, some of my top five perfumes, but this is specifically for fall, winter, since that's the season that we're in right now. So these are kind of specifically for the fall and winter. But I'm going to do like top five eyeshadow palettes, top five lipsticks, just of my whole collection. Like I'm just going to have to narrow it down. What's my top five out of all my blushes, my setting powders, just kind of I'm going to start randomly putting them in there um, into my video um, videos that I'm making. So that's what I'm doing today, um, and today we're starting off with perfumes, but again, they are for fall. So, and I think I might have cheated a little, and I couldn't just narrow it down to five. I'm really trying to narrow it down to five, but today I have six. But we're going to call it five, because a couple of them are just like little samples. They're not full size, but I think I just need to get the full size in them, because um, I miss them. I just got the small ones, because I used to have the full size, and I thought, well, I'm going to switch it up, get something different. Well, I miss them, and there's so many more on my list. That's the correct thing I know. But I'm such a perfume addict. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. This is new to my collection, but I've wanted it forever. Giorgio Armani C. This is amazing. If you have not smelled this, it is just, to me, date night, sexy, like a hint of mysteriousness in there, but it's also kind of got a sweet smell to it. It's just... I don't know, it's just a heavenly perfume. And I'll link everything where you can purchase it down below so you can read about the specific notes. I'm not gonna go and describe every single thing to make this video like 10 hours long, but, because I know you guys can read you know, read about them. But this one, oh, I love to wear it on a date night, but then I'll wear it lighter, just with like one squirt sometimes to work, but not, it's, it can be heavy, so I'll just do like one squirt. But like on date nights, I'll do like two or three, because it just makes me feel like sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like on date nights, you want to feel sexy, right? <laughs> Who doesn't, right? So that's awesome. It's just awesome. Um, let's see. Next one, let's do some that I don't necessarily have to wear on date nights, but I think they are good for date nights as well. Something about C to me just screams a date night mystery. It's like sweet and seductive and it's just, it's, I don't know. It just screams date night to me. These two, let's call these one. That way this actually is five, top five. Let's call these one because they're by the same person. Um, my Terry Mugler Alien I'm just gonna have to buy the full size of this because I love it so much and I'm using up my little guy. Um, I love this one for some reason. It's just strong, it's fresh, but yet deep and, you know, it's it's different than anything I have, the way this smells. It's, I don't even, like, I feel like it's got a fresh freshness to it, but also like a warmth. Something about this, I just only wear this in the fall and winter. I just, it's not light enough for me to wear in the summer. So this is a really, really favorite of mine. And Terry Mueller is one of my absolute favorites because his scents, I think it's a heat, I think. And I think I'm saying it right. Terry Mueller, Terry, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> um, Angel, uh, Alien and Angel. Alien is always, to me, a fall fragrance because it just feels deeper than just a light. Uh, to me, I think light, fruity, sweet, you know, kind of stuff in the summer and spring but this one to me screams fall it's amazing the lasting power on this is crazy good um I usually lean more towards eau de parfums just because of that but um I actually one day just because I wanted to see they have this in eau de toilette as well mm, wiggling it <laughs> and I wanted to see like how that one would last and so I sprayed it on at like Sephora, Ulta, wherever I was. And it actually lasted pretty long too. And it's a little bit lighter. So you can maybe pull that one off in the summer and do the parfum for the um, winter. Maybe an idea if you're like addicted to this fragrance. And then um, this came in like a gift set. So this is the last I have of my Angel. And I wear both of these to work. I think they're very work appropriate for me. I don't wear a lot when I go to work. Um, I don't do bedside care anymore because um, I've had many, many leg injuries slash surgeries. That's a whole other story for a whole other video when I do a TMI or about me ton of kind of video. But um, anyway, so I'm not always like at the bedside. So these are okay for me to wear to work now. Because um, when I was like a bedside nurse, I usually wouldn't even wear perfume. I wear like a body spray because 
I worked with pregnant women and they get nauseated very easily by scents. So I did not want to make my patients sicker than they already were or feel worse. So, you know, anyways, it's totally going on a tangent again. But, you know, if you watch my channel, you know, that's what I do. So like it or like it or hate it, you know. Anyways, Angel is amazing. It's got like this warmth to it, an amazing warmth. Again, this one lasts really long as well. It's got like an um, like a vanilla scent to me, um, and it's just, but it dries down like vanilla-y, but like sweet with like a musky warmth to it. I don't even know, like, that's just the way I smell it when I, when I, you know, that's probably not how it's described, but that's how I smell it. It's amazing. I need to just purchase those full size. And then another one that I'll just mention that's not in here, but I need to repurchase because I miss it. Um, now that fall's come around, I finished it last fall and I haven't repurchased it yet, is Flower Bomb, guys. Flower Bomb is so amazing. And, oh, God, that was a great everyday scent and every date night and everything. But I didn't repurchase it because I ended up getting this guy by Victor and Rolf instead. And this is Bon Bon. Oh, guys, if you like Flower Bomb, you'll for sure like this. It's not as sweet. And you would think it would be with the name Bon Bon, but um, it is not as sweet. I'm not actually, this is what I'm wearing today, so raise some more on. It's like mysterious and dark, kind of like C, but not nearly as sweet as C. It's got kind of a, a musky scent to me more than the Flower Bomb and not quite as sweet. Um, but something about this, it's just a wonderful, like you just need one spray, lasts all day. Something about it screams fall to me. Um, it's just, I, I'm fine wearing this every day. I'm about halfway through this, so I think I can justify buying Flower Bomb too. I just didn't want to have two by the same person, although I still want Alien and Angel, and they're by the same person, but I don't know. I think I'll probably end up getting Flower Bomb. But if you like Flower Bomb, I think you'd like this. If you're not, unless you like Flower Bomb strictly because it's really, it's got that sweet smell, because this does not have a sweet smell. To me, it doesn't. I mean, it's a little bit not, not nearly as um, sweet as Flower Bomb, so that's that one. Okay, another favorite, and if you like sweet stuff, you will love this as well. This is my Miss Dior, sorry, my phone's sitting here. My Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Um, oh God, this stuff is amazing, guys, and the bottle is, like, so cute. Can we talk about the cuteness? And I know you've probably seen my perfume collection, so I'm not going to go crazy into it, but oh my God. This is, like, a sweet, wonderful, honestly, you could probably pull this one off all year round, although I want to get Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet for the summer and strictly this more for fall. It's just a little deeper and stronger than Blooming Bouquet and the Eau de Toilette version. So to me, like the kind of deepness, like it's like a deep sweet. I don't know if that's like how you can describe something, but to me it's like a, you know, like how there's just like really sweet, fruity, light fragrances. This is like a deeper one. So to me, it's like deeper for fall and winter. So I lean towards this fall and winter more than anything. I have occasionally worn it in the spring and summer, but I want to get the Blooming Bouquet one for spring and summer because I think that's just a little bit lighter and it's an eau de toilette. So anyways, sorry, I know I'm rambling and this is the last one I have here. Um, and you guys have already seen my perfume collection, but I'm narrowing it down to like what season and what my top five out of my collection are, which, God, that's really hard to pick. Anyways, um, Elizabeth and James Black, and um, I want to get the white too and I want to mix them. Um, this is an amazing scent. I would never have thought I would like something like this. It's mysterious. It's unique. Uh, if you have not smelled this, you need to go to Sephora and check it out. I think this is exclusive, the black and white Nirvana um, by Elizabeth and James. Sorry, I have a hair. Um, I think it's exclusive to Sephora. Um, I just have a rollerball to try that I got as a 100-point perk, but I do have on my Christmas list the full-size bottle of this. And I'm still deciding on the white. My husband's not a big fan of it, but you know, he's not always home. I can wear the white and the black together whenever he's not around, and he won't complain. Because I really like the white and black mixed as well. Um, I'm not really liking the white on its own. It's just too, I don't know what it is about it, but this one's like deeper and more mysterious. I just, I like the black one better. So anyways, that's my top out of my collection that I like, my top five for fall. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of, you know, I already did a perfume collection. It's kind of similar, but I wanted to narrow it down for you guys. So keep um, on the lookout for more top five videos. I'm going to narrow down lots of stuff, kind of shop my stash. And I'm going to do like a shop my stash, get ready with me videos as well. Find some old stuff I haven't given enough love to lately. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and stay a while. I would love to have you. Um, and comment down below. Let me know if you're new and say hello. So um, if not, comment down below for whatever you guys want. Let me know what your favorite fall fragrance is. Um, anything like that. I love to hear from you guys. So anyways, I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.